Welcome everybody to Dungeons and Dragons, the Tower of Dreams. Talking about your school game brought to you by your school Paladin. I am your dungeon master, the Thick Baby, but let's just get right into the game. Sorry, my mic was muted that entire time. You can loot it if you want. Dubby, I do need you back here for the loot. Yeah, let's get an intro check. No, we go, we go nature checks for all of our loot. I just like to make it broad, yeah. One second. <laughs> We've already given a log to uh, oh, man. Broadman or Grunthor? I get, or yeah. not Grunthor. I get, it's I Sebastian. Sebastian, yeah. Sebastian Thank you. Yeah, I'm so sorry. Staley, I know this is your first time ever playing Dungeons & Dragons. Ross, who is Sean's character, has this kind of power over from his sponsor that he must call himself Sebastian and talk in a third person. Yeah. I did notice I had a log as well. Is his tongue yeah. still swollen? <laughs> his tongue is not swollen anymore. Okay. All right, so he rolled an eight to loot that log. And you... Or to loot that wood tile. <laughs> the log that no one was trying to cut down last game. <laughs> Specifically that. <laughs> well, hello, Jim and Joe. How you doing out there? Sorry, we got a delayed start today. A little chaotic. But while we're quiet, why don't I just tell you, we have merch out now, and I think some of you have seen it already. We've been showing it off. I'm wearing one of them. It's got our logo on the front with the sweatshirt, and then on the back, it's got all of us animated as characters. But yeah. Oh, you want me to spin around here? Yeah. I always see some screen well, things on Friday. Oh, yeah, you're looking good in the backside, baby. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. We'll show them off more on some of our other streams. But, uh, yeah, we have a website. You guys can head over. I'm pretty sure it's on the bio of our Twitch page, our YouTube page, everything. Go to our link tree. It's all linked to the website. Yeah. And you can buy them there. And if you're local in Michigan, we can – or close by in Michigan, I would say, we can – get them to you, bring them to you kind of thing. There's a local option on the website, and then there's a shipping option that you can do. Yeah, that's, well, but there, you can't uh, buy it locally on there anymore. Okay. You can buy it locally if you see uh, anybody from the new store. And then um, online, the website, you'll be able to purchase and order them uh, basically right after the stream. 
All right. All right. We're not going to try to talk to you. So Rivera. Yes, slide into our DMs. All right. Rivera rolled an eight to loot those logs. Hmm? A blood root. Okay. I will. Well, I'll, he can be a little loose around one over there. Loot as many and pile the logs as he would like. Was there any additional tents so far that we have yet to scurry our way through? You guys have gone in uh, one tent and two huts, I believe. Okay. So They're in the bottom left hut. You guys cleared out that tent. I just have Ratman sitting there because it was marking it. So you guys still have two tents and Eight no, because you guys cleared out that hut, didn't you? Yeah, I believe you have two tents left. Cool, so we have two tents to go. Because All you right. guys, or no, because you guys are going to go one tent. You have two huts left. Let me get this straight. They didn't go into any of these tents up here. Yeah, those two over there. I don't and so two tents, one hut left. Two tents, one hut. Okay. okay. Two tents, one hut. So Great video. <laughs> They were all in uh, the bottom tent, the bottom middle tent. No, we didn't, we didn't follow that. Yeah, no, we like, uh, so you guys were going. Yeah, you did I, this you one. Know, I think we should stay in one group. We get screwed every time. <laughs> no, no, let's learn from our you were going to a tent, like, right? Yeah. You guys agree? We're not with you. We can't. We'll call this one yeah. tent two. Yeah, talk to those people. Well, we're already <laughs> walking in. In theory, I agree. Yeah. yeah. In theory. Yeah. In theory. <laughs> Maybe we should go after our group so we can progress because we have side quests, I figure. Let me throw you guys on here. Um, wide open though. I don't know if I like that. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure if I do either. When I say we got Danny. I mean, I'm down to go back out and go try to fetch the rest of the group. I mean, they did turn me away from their door last night when we were trying to rest. But this today is a new day. Though. She, they literally knew who it was that knocked at the door. Let you out. And you said. Wait, which one who was? Rivera turned me because Frogman oh. was like, it's great. Oh, yeah, that's right. Why'd you do that, by the way? You literally just went, those fuckers, and you left us for dead outside. You were not dead. You you were bleeding very, like, pitifully. I thought you'd be fine. I didn't I have enough. Did. You do that all the time. I figured you I didn't have, I didn't have any more trash to plus the wounds. So, but yeah, we can go look for the rest of them. I like that. Alright, this is what you see when you walk in. Uh-oh. Yeah, we don't see anybody, so it looks like we're not being ganked, at least, on our way in. We're, we're thinking of who's out of the way. Follow. I think we should probably follow. Yeah, yeah. Right, I'm with you, Daddy. We should follow some of our We keep falling down. Yeah. Let's, let's go find out. Are, are, are we following Daddy? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's fucking scary. <laughs> Alright, so you guys are going back to your other group? I think it was the best idea. Alright. He's not bad. My husband can't have a Chinese surname, and his family name is Daddy. Alright. Are we. What's up, Jaddy? I don't know how to say your name. Jadaki? Jadashi? Okay. Jadakai. Alright, so this is where the other team was. You guys were in the tent. You had. I don't think you had started looting most of it yet. You had looted all the goblin bodies. You had looted all the goblin bodies, but I don't think you actually looted the bases or anything. Okay. We have an excellent question from this other table. Do we actually know which tent the rest of the party went into? Yes. Yes, because I think you guys all, you were in the battle or you saw them go into battle and you heard the drums and everything, and then afterwards you guys were all like, we're going somewhere else. Um. Yeah. Alright, so the, you guys are back in the tent. I'm not going to throw your characters on here because it'll take too long. Oh, yeah, it's an empty yeah. tent. What are we doing? Well, I'm going to let these guys or rather. So we've got a couple other tents that we haven't walked through yet. I, I don't think we're fully rested. I think we're going to have like this. Should we do a short No, rest? you did a full rest. You did a full rest? You did a full rest. Okay. 
kind of odd in the full rest that there's anybody here. They wouldn't have taxed our fleet. Yeah. But we were hired to do a job to clean out this whole village. We've got a couple of tents left that we haven't adventured through yet. You guys want to come with so we don't accidentally, you know, almost die a billion times like we did last night? Happy you lose the pot? Yeah. I'm fine with that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to loop the top two bases over on the right side. Of this one. All right, let's get the na <laughs> let's get a nature roll for each one. Okay. It's always a d20. You don't want to. <laughs> All right, Jill, never mind. Roll a D8 for us, sorry. Yep. Now roll a D20 nature check. I did roll a 9, and you were like, never mind. Nah, I take the 6. A bird's feather? Bird's feather. Do, do I know what color? Blue. Just put bird's feather in that parentheses blue. <laughs> it didn't make no difference. Yeah, but it, it, it might be kind of excited. Right, my bike blue. Fair, fair. All right, and then the second one. Roll a D8 for us. Oh, right. A two. All right. D20. Nature check. Six flat. Do you have any nature? Uh, uh, one. Show me a seven. Now you roll six. Yeah. Mushroom. Oh, okay. Mushroom. Now, if you touch your mushrooms together. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> So you had to live your lives. <laughs> oh my, no, I know. That's great. I love it. All right, anybody else doing anything? <laughs> I like it. Frogman, Frogman turned into like something. <laughs> it went from some like high grogginess to this new Sebastian. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What do you say, number? Yep, let's get a D8. And then a nature check with a D20. So Jill has looted two of the top right ones, and Ember has done the top left. So there's two in the top right, one in the bottom right. All right. Let's get a strength check on you first. So D20, and then add your strength modifier to it, which is just like a plus one or two, whatever. Oh yeah, you obliterate. <laughs> yeah, roll a D eight for us. You get a damaged cat's tongue. <laughs> you you swung through this thing a little too much and kind of squished it, but it's a little salvageable. You kind of just scoop it up in your hands and it's just mush. <laughs> All 
was staring at oh. me. Was staring for me with Kazakov. That was pretty on par with Sean's character. Just <laughs> break a base. I hear them call it a buzz, so I throw a dagger at him. At him? At the ball. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, roll for... <laughs> Let's just get a dexterity roll for him. Let's just see what you do. That is going to be. Uh, I rolled a d8 for us. You get a uh, a blood root, but it's completely fractured in half. Fl fractured blood root. Yeah, but your dagger went through that thing and shot it into the wall just completely. <laughs> fractured blood root. The Oz. On the top one? Yeah. Okay. Roll for it. I'm sure why I find an eye mask. He's <laughs> building a whole man. <laughs> it's just like they found the boulder gate and then you can find Adam Penis. <laughs> Do you want to hear the bird? Anybody else? Um, so is that just a rope or can you like go behind? It's just a rope hanging is down the rope for the tent. Yeah. Is the rope able to be taken? You could so take down the tent. That rope? Yeah. I'm going to look at it and say, but so I know you're. Do you roll for it? Or can I just loot it? All right. Sorry, we had to, we had to discuss. Uh, yeah, go ahead and give me a strength pull on the rope. D20. As she's doing this, I'm just going to say out loud from experience, you're not going to be much too thick for that rope. You're going to be standing with that for a minute. So, I got 10. You pull on this rope, but you just kind of keep slipping on it. You're not quite getting it down. It's pretty sturdy up there. And you see that it's tied to the top of the tent somewhere. Well, then I'm not leaving this room. I get pissed. <laughs> <laughs> so if he's leaving the room, I guess we're going to follow. Okay, we're going to go to that tent. Yeah, that's all right. It looks like we're going then. We're perfectly set. You wanted to go back to the tent that you... The big open one? Yeah. Okay. yeah. Plenty of fish for us to do whoever wants to tag along with. Now's your chance. Get y'all getting. Is yeah. everybody going with? I'm going with. All right. I'm going with you guys. I learned my lesson from the last couple sessions. All right, let me get everybody in here. Hold on. Last couple sessions where people just leave and don't say anything. That's a two week situation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Every single. Time. It only took a whole campaign and some extra <laughs> to learn that lesson. <laughs> All right, who do we got? Daddy's in there. Ember's in there. Frogman. Wait, who do you? Yeah, kind of Wow. <laughs> Inspiration points now. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, and, then, and we're missing Ross. And then I'll, and then I'll, I can't say that. And then you say me. You know how you have <laughs> This is a <laughs> You know how people have filler words? Well, yeah. And then I'd be like, but. All right. But. <laughs> it was a weird thing. And then somebody pointed it out to me, and they're like, you know what you're saying? <laughs> out front, out front, we have Ross leading the pack. Uh, 
Who wants to move first? I'm going to try to... Can we get around, Rock? Uh, everybody's in except for Ember and Daddy I have in the back because they're kind of the range you support. I'm going to try to slink my way across the back right wall like, and then to go towards... I, are those tables over there? Yeah. So I'm going to try to hug the wall to try to like keep myself a little yeah, bit. Yeah, zoom out just slightly more. If you're just walking along the wall, don't worry about the white box. Just uh, Yeah, and I'm going to keep going and like loop myself like around the tables. Yeah. All right, let me... That white box... Oh, let's get a sneak on you. It's a smart I took the screenshot. That's my house. Yeah. That's my bad. That's going to be a and then put it back. 13. Let's roll for initiative, boys. All right, we got initiative, Jim. Give me one sec. Uh, seven. Give me a second. I'm writing down everybody's name. Give me a second. Give me a second. Anka. <laughs> Rivera. Daddy. Seventeen. Amber. Ratma. Nine. Ross. One. It doesn't matter. Frogman. She's just like, he's fucking terrible at this. <laughs> what do you say? Don't make me a liar with the stream that you guys finished level one today. <laughs> the, the description says the team finishes level one and moves on to level two today. <laughs> Give us some inspiration points to throw at you. At least we just leave the ball over like towards 10. Yep. Yeah, I'm going to go. Take one. Yeah, yeah. We're starting with Daddy. Yeah. Give me one sec. <laughs> Daddy, I apologize. All right, how did I not get inspiration points for my name like at the beginning? <laughs> this is where you're at. You're behind the group, which is unfortunate, but it is what it is. Wait, but who's standing in front of him? Because he's smaller than uh, Ross is standing in front of him. Oh, Did they see the direction which I like, slink across? They saw you going to the right, that's better. Okay, and can they hear me if I ever call out to them right now? Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to yell out right now. I, I got one over here, so that way you kind of know you got one in that general direction. Like one over here. here. Right. Let's get a perception. Be funny? Yeah. I went off in this direction over here. Eleven. You hear his voice somewhere to your right. Mm -hmm. So that side? Mm-hmm. Um, can I block by? You're blocked in in the doorway by pretty much your entire team right now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> can you acrobatically wait? Yeah, yeah can, I, can I like go under just some small? I'll give you a jump diagonally if you want to jump Ramma. Okay. Since I believe he's shorter right now. D20? Uh, no, no. We'll just do uh, your movement speed. It'll just take twice as much from you. So you do 10 of your feet instead of 5 of your feet. God damn it. Why does it always do that? So Stop you have what? Go away. 20 feet left in the move this turn? <laughs> yes, like only 30 feet. Okay, yeah, I see. Okay, gotcha. So that jump will take you 20 feet to get there. That's what oh, I'm okay, saying. Yeah, 10 more feet. Alright, then can I move 10 more feet left in the. Uh... Direction. Yeah. So you see? No, no, I, I doubled it already. You see, you so that was ten no, feet. No, but it cost. Wait, since I see him, do I have to continue moving? You don't have to do anything. But you, but you see me now. No yeah. All right. I see him, and I'm telling the rest of my peeps that he should. I would go first. I don't know if I can. Can you touch him? 
Yeah. You can say whatever you want. If, if Ango saw Renami, but because he had things to work with, okay. he can also see Renami. All right, yeah, then I'll definitely just get as close as I can to my next 10 feet. Sure. All right, there's your 10 feet, and you can see the goblin now. I have a 30 foot. I'm, there's no way that's. I'm not even going to measure it. There's no way it's 30 feet. <laughs> All right. I'm good. Um, let me cross that out. Ember. Yeah, you can actually move diagonal. You don't have oh, to I, jump. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, let's go like that'll be yeah, 30 feet right there. Oh. All right, let's get it. Where did I? Shit, I don't um, have my goblin shit pointed out. Yes. Yeah. Why do I not have a ring yet? Uh, there it is. Right. You miss. All right. Let's go, <laughs> Rivera. Rivera. Wait. Let's go. Fifteen's there. Let me zoom out slightly so you can see. God damn it! Why does it keep doing that? All right. That's 15. You want to keep going, or? Uh, I mean, I, as a player, I see that at the edge of my vision, but mm. does Rivera see at the edge of his vision the other two goblins? Rivera can make out the two goblins on the edge of his vision, yeah. Anything you could see on the table, he could see. Right, pretty right. much. Unless his back is turned, but he's running in that direction. He's running in that direction, so I'm going to oh shit, there's two more guys. Yeah. And I'm going to move up in like a slight intercept direction to the one in the lawn. So, yep. Yeah, that's in that direction. So, Alright, right there. Uh, direct target. Wait, who? Alright. It was good knowing <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's go to Ratma. side of him. Uh, left. Alright. Okay. Okay. That's fine. It's going to cost one of your charges, so make sure you note that down. You have three charges of your shape shift. Do you have the character that has shape shift? Yeah, well, yeah, Raven, I'm pretty sure Raven's at one health. Yeah. yeah, you might want to Google that if he doesn't have it.
All right. How far you want to go? Well, no one's attacking anybody yet, except for Ember, who's thrown out an attack. Do I have to move You have a move where you can attack him. That's fine. <laughs> Sometimes. Okay. Situational. Okay. What are you doing? What's your movement speed as a wraith? 65. You can make it right up to one of them. To both of these ones in the front. Which one do you want to do, left or right? Uh, so I'm going to just stab that raven. I'm going to try to... <laughs> Throw for a hit. Throw for a hit. In the eye. Throw for a hit. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I have to do something with the eyes. <laughs> uh, plus what? This is why I said you should Google your raven. Well, I got 18. Oh, yeah, you're hitting him. In the eye? Yeah. Let's let's roll for let's roll for blind. Did you just spit into a cup? It's across the spot. What are you what are you like fucking Sean over here? Alright, so first roll D four for me. Just uh, Raven D and D five E C R one, just a, a or one half, whatever it is. The original. Oh, yeah. okay, that's fine. Yeah, one damage for the Raven attack, but let's roll a D twenty for the blind. Let's see. No. They're perfectly fine. You hit him in the eye, but just kind of grazed him as he was blinking, so he's good. One damage. Let's move to uh, <laughs> Anga. What are we doing? All right. Um, so can we go over to my character? Yes, yeah, sir. You are in the bottom right. And then what's the distance? 40 to get up in striking range. Two, yep, that one hits. If he's lobbing them at the same time, yeah. If I'm, no, if we said if I was lobbing at a separate target, then I was going to get disadvantage on my offhand. But if That's I'm fine, yeah. If I'm at the same target, then there'd be no disadvantage. Fair enough. But then if I was up close and I was attacking with the offhand against like a separate or whatever. We'll figure it out when the time yeah, comes. Yeah, that wouldn't be disadvantage on right. All right, so second dagger would be a 15. Yeah. Okay, cool. So let's get damage on both of them. First dagger is going to be a seven. Whoops. All right, tell me how he goes down. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, I guess just when that dagger gets thrown, it's just going to lob right to the forehead and just splinter it kind of open before it vanishes back to my hand. Dagger hits him directly in the head, and as he starts falling back, another dagger just hits him as he goes down. <laughs> And then both just vanish and reappear in your hands. Back in my hand. And then I guess I'm going to uh, move me back up against the the wall and up north as much as you can make. Yep. So it's another time. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay. All right. If 
Mr. Anga, we got our enemy. Sorry, Ross, you're the last one. That's what happens when you're on that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, enemy's going to... Uh, first one's definitely going to attack Frogman. Uh, AC on a Raven is definitely below that, so you are out of Raven form right now. It doesn't really matter what he rolls for damage because you got one health as Raven. Yeah, this is higher than that. <laughs> yeah, so you are out of Raven form right now. Is this guy at disadvantage for his eyes just being gouged out? All you, all you did was peck him. You missed his eye. <laughs> all right, this guy, I don't, yeah, he can't quite make it to Ango, but he can make it over to Frogman. All right, this guy's going to go over and attack Frogman. Because he way over positioned himself. You said your AC was 10? All right, he just barely hits you. For five damage. Dude, you can't even see. This is another dude. This is a different guy. <laughs> <laughs> this is why no one wants you to play their character. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ross, what are we doing? Sebastian was distracted playing with his goblin finger, and he heard a rat club playing drums and wants to travel towards rat. All right, I like it. I, I like the number. You're like nailing it. All right. <laughs> You're 30 feet of movement. You got right up to Ratma. This is what you can see in front of you. You got the two goblins on the left. Can I move anymore? That, that was all your movement to get there, but you can use a bonus action to dash, which gives you another 30 feet. You get one action, one bonus action. Your action would be like an attack or something. Could I, could I make an attack? Uh, it, yeah, you could get right up on him with your bonus action and then attack, yeah. Okay, Sebastian is not saved by the drums anymore and looks over at the goblin and wants to dash, dash the goblin. All right, let's, let's get an attack once you get up there. So, D20. He rolled a three. No, <laughs> you don't have to add anything to it. You're not him. <laughs> does he, wait, does he get two of that? Oh, yeah, you do have your dagger, so you have separate daggers, so roll again for your second dagger. Sorry, I forgot he was our dagger guy. 14? You are hitting that one, so roll damage, which I believe is a D6. D4. D4, my bad. Yes. Oh, no, you just hit the damage. So add your dex modifier. All right, so three damage to him. All right. Hey, he hit something. All right, let's go to... That was our last one, so we're back at Daddy. Oh, mostly back to Daddy. I need that. Actually, you can't see any of them at the edge of your vision right now. You can, see you can see Ross at the end of your vision. <laughs> to be fair, you saw Ross swing at something, but you can't quite make it out. <laughs> All right. So that's about as far as you can make it. All right. It's going to be 20 feet to get to him. I think I can only Let's go to Ember. Um, is the one that Sebastian damaged and that 
Was the first damage the same guy? Uh, no, that was two separate ones. Okay, well, I'll take the one that has more damage right now. Okay. All right, I think you're going to need to move up just because it's out of your sight. Yeah, but my range is 80. Your range is 80, but it is out of your sight. Okay. You can't get any of the far side motion later on. I'll give you 20 feet, that way you can get up and see both of them. Huh? <laughs> Alright, that's, that's as far as you can get. <laughs> Alright, they both have damage to them. <laughs> well, that's a mess. <laughs> Um, okay. All right, let's go to <laughs> Rivera. All right, I'm gonna move up as far as I can. Gonna get in range of the next one of the goblins. Yeah. Perfect. Oh. Slide in. Throw out the short sword at him. That oh. is a uh, 19. You're hitting. 23. Yeah. And I was the one that is six damage from the sword. All right, tell me how he goes down. Uh, I take advantage of the fact that Sebastian has got him uh, distracted. I just throw my sword through the side of his neck. Jesus. Hold out his <laughs> All right. Yeah. Just, just make sure it's done. Uh, <laughs> just, just, no, I gotta make sure he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So that one's gone. And we're over to Ratma. Ratma, what are we doing? <laughs> Rama. He's gotta recover. <laughs> I'm heavier than I thought. All right. Um. So I'm the farthest one back right now, right? You are right here. And then there's one goblin remaining mm -hmm. over. Can I reach him because everybody's kind of blocking him, or? Uh, with diagonal movements, hey, you're right up in him. All right. Um, I am going to attack him with my sword. You can throw it. Let's get it. <laughs> 20. Nat 20? No, I throw. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I thought you were telling me you got 20. 15. 15? Plus anything? Do I plus anything? Yeah. Plus your proficiency and dex, right? Yeah. All right, so I got a 17. All right, you're hitting. All right. I'm Roll for gonna... damage. So right here is what? Eight plus uh, that. Yeah. Hmm. I think I am just going to straight up stab him in the heart. All right. Well, roll for damage. <laughs> <laughs> How far does this heart then, go? D8. Okay. Oh, no, that's not going to work. Six. Yeah. You're, you tell me how it goes down. Yay. Right, yeah. All right, I like it. <laughs> all right, battle over. First battle down for the day. <laughs> yeah, you're alive. What do you mean? You're, what do you mean? Are you alive? Pay attention. <laughs> Just do your best Jay impression. <laughs> All right, anybody want to do anything? Uh, I'm just Mr. Devlin. All right, let's... I'll, I'll, I'll search the one that I smoked. Yep, let's get a nature check on both of them. Debbie, I'm going to need you for that. Nat 20. Nat 20? Mm -hmm. Well, that's great, but I also need a D8 from you for oh. rarity pool. Yes, let's get a D8. Uh, that's all right. Did you roll a D8? I don't know. Grandma is also going blue, and he's at 15. All right, give me one sec. <laughs> Drake, what? you are going to get two... Black cup mushrooms. Black cup mushrooms. And then Stefan. Stefan, you did a six and a two. Two? Is it black cup or black cup? Black cup. cup. Uh, Stefan, I'm going to give you a wolf spider. Oh, no. All right. And then Joe, D8, and then a D20. I got a 15 and a 7. All right, 15, D8, 7. Seven, and you're gonna get an air witch. An air witch. All right, that was all the goblins in the room. Sebastian wants to know if he can pocket for the mushrooms. 
Oh yeah, you can absolutely try that. <laughs> yeah. Who who are you pickpocketing? Trey? Yeah. Alright, yeah, let's get a stealth. Which one are we Uh D twenty. And then add your stealth modifier, which should be nineteen. Okay, yeah, you're good on the stealth. Let's get a slight of hand check. Same thing, D twenty. Eight. Let's have you roll against the perception. Yeah. Okay, because his stealth check was good, his sleight of hand check was bad, uh, you do get into his pocket, but he kind of reaches back and you get scared and reach your hand back out and you don't get any mushrooms. But he doesn't notice that you were in there. He just, I just go to pick out my wedgie real quick. Sorry? No, he had a higher perception. <laughs> He is obsessed with purchases and ownership. I wait. Is he behind me? Or is that what are we? Can I see him? That can I see him going to Uncle's pockets? Would you like to try to see him? Try to pick I would like to try to see Let's him. get a perception check. Yeah. Okay, that's a net twenty or twenty again. Yeah, if you can. What was your stealth check that you told me? What was the number? Eight plus one. No, that was your sleight of hand. Oh, what yeah, was the stealth before that? It was 19. So if you can roll a higher than a 19 on your perception, you could see him. <laughs> so what was all this? Is that like some sort of statue showing there then? Yeah. Can I walk up to the statue and look around it to see if there's any sort of like crevices? Like I feel a draft coming around it or any sort of hidden compartment? Let's get a perception. Well, he's gonna, I just want to know what's in front of them. Are those like, chairs? These right here? Yeah. Those are uh, same thing from the other ten. They're like barricades. Like yeah, like, oh, they're like cross barricades. Yeah. Okay. Seven. What's next to I'll take a look at Seven. The, I'll take a look at the statue you as well. like the statue. Pretty cool looking statue. Not gonna lie. Is it a dragon? It is a dragon. Are the things on the other side of the barricades dragon eggs? You can go over and look. Well, it's, it's everybody's turn. Yeah. Do whatever you want. Okay. Yeah, give me give me perception. I'm not sure there's a statue there. It's that one. Now you walk up and you're just like, where'd it go? <laughs> Sudden blindness, but only for the statue. <laughs> <laughs> no. oh, but I like good. it. That was good. That was good. All right. Welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Just checking his eyes. Okay. You walk over there, and all right. When that was, give me an nature check here. You definitely feel like that. This is. Some sort of egg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm waiting for him to answer because I didn't design the map. <laughs> a statue egg or something? I don't know. Well, now I don't know for now because she has a nice egg, so now I want a nice egg. This is right. a pretty trying time. Rivera. Rivera went first. Is going over to that left one. Give us a nature check. Twelve. It's a statue egg. Twelve. Yeah. To get an egg. I thought you meant it from the left one. Yeah. Oh, right. Just put it as stone egg for now. I'm not really sure. You're now in the converse. Oh my god! Look at this sculpture. It's a goop egg. Yeah. <laughs> oh. All right. Go ahead and uh, reach over to that that rope. Mm hmm Strength. What strength is this? That was an eight. An eight? Nah, you fail on it again. You just keep slipping off this rope. I go walk. It's a it's a pretty decent size rope. Really nice. Yeah. 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 Yeah
You can I, certainly yeah, try. I've been noticing Rammer really struggling with the stroke and I was gonna tell him, I told you your neck's too thick. You're gonna dangle there for a minute, but you really Please stop. Minute. Please stop. Uh, I'll probably pull it. Pull it. Okay, so you guys all go over and you just start yanking at this rope when suddenly the top of this thing starts caving in with every pull until finally you yank the rope down. The rope comes down, but so does the rest of the tent with it. Uh, you're each taking five damage. <laughs> As the tent collapses down on you. And no more loot in that tent. Quick question. There were some damage items. I think we gave Sebastian a squished cap stuff or whatever it was. I got a bird feather that's blue and a monkey. But and none of those were damaged. We were only damaged. <laughs> we were like, who got damaged items? Joe was like, let me tell you all my items. <laughs> so, uh, All right, I like it. You can you can have a uh, ten feet of rope. With my door, I'm gonna cut a, a big giant hole and save everybody out of the feeling possible. All right. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, if it's made of like a reasonable material, I'll just kind of like cut my way out of it. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty flimsy material, I would say. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. What you zero. As I'm climbing out of the hole. He had seven uh, total. Yeah, he's at zero. He's down. <laughs> <laughs> he's just like, no, if, he doesn't, if he doesn't appear in a reasonable time frame, I will try and figure out. You're down right now. Climbing out of the tent, I get very sweaty. It's very reminiscent of Frank trying to climb out of the couch. I'm just really struggling trying to find my way out of here. Uh... I start playing my drums to assist everybody. Follow the noise. Frogman, let's get a uh, saving throw. That giant thing is just ten. Yeah. Scale. <laughs> it is what it is. It's a magic ten. Exactly a ten. All right, you're good for one. We'll wait a few seconds, and we'll have you do another one if no one gets you up. Wait, is it one through ten, and then eleven through twenty, or it's ten of I figured it was tie for ten. I give it to him. I'm being very lenient with everything. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I died? Yeah, no, no, yeah. No, the tank collapsed on you guys when all of them decided to pull the rope together. As I'm crawling out of the tent, I, I slam my hand down on the ground mm -hmm. once, but I accidentally yeah. slam yeah. him in the chest. And it's enough to be like a CPR shot to restart. Him so you're getting him up. Yeah. <laughs> all right, you're up. You're back up with one hit point. I'm looking at you. Erase that two on your paper and write it one. <laughs> he just like kept looking at me and looking away. <laughs> All right, we want to go to the next tent, gang. All right, you want to go to that top right one? Yep. All right. Yeah. We did number one. It's this one. All right. Say not good at floors, okay? <laughs> Give him a break. <laughs> All right, let me get everybody in here. Yeah. If I move in, I'm moving at least like an additional ten feet, so people, you know, stack up behind me. I'll give you that. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna do a. We're gonna do a roll for initiative right away, just so everybody knows. Everybody roll for initiative. Don't tell your, me your numbers. I'm not taking them down. <laughs> <laughs> like every time I'm like, all right, roll for initiative and give me one second. And everyone's like, I got a seven. Like, just, just give me a second. <laughs> oh, uh, we got daddy. You see a brown liquidy meat on the table. <laughs> 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 
Uh, Ember Frogman, Ango, Ratma. Almost done. And Rivera's in there and Ross. Okay. Um, yes, let's get everybody's initiative. Starting here. Starting with Ongo, yep. Give me one sec. And go ahead. Ten. Rivera? Seventeen. Danny? Nineteen. Ember? Eight. Ratma? Six. Ross? Eight. Frogman? Eight. We don't just get smashed by a goblin and all die in one turn. Let's go. All right, we're in. Daddy, you're going to be the first one up Again. with Frogman on deck. I thought I took the number. That's why I got the same thing, but went for a different number. Yes, you two re roll just flat number, whatever it is. 19. All right, so you're first. All right. So, Daddy, what do we want to do here? Oh, um, are those goblins up there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I'm starving. What are they doing? <laughs> Looks like they're around the table eating lunch. <laughs> you said, did I have buzzers? Oh, sorry. <laughs> 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 well, I mean, aren't, aren't we not going to go after them? Like, after my. Like, we already rolled initiative, so combat has started. Yeah. We started asking the puzzle. Walk up to the table and talk to them. <laughs> or you can heal some of us because we all got five damage. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if that's one. We had one. No. 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 Uh, no. 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 Sort of depends on if Jade's rolling the dice or not. I would say, frankly, with how little he hits people, <laughs> Radma's probably got the most damage out of be. anybody. He could be. Frogman turns into a raven and usually just gets killed right away. Okay, yeah. I'll have to just... <laughs> <laughs> you can kill all of them. I don't think any of these fuckers. A little yeah. bit. Jeez. You're within 25 feet of him right now. 15 feet. Yeah. Yeah, so that's 15, 10 feet right there. Was 15 feet. Yep, we can move you number five, and now you're within 15 feet of him. Let's go. Uh, can you use my Hordy Spray? P? Um, Constitution Save, correct. Oh, for me, yeah. Yeah, for you and then. He's failing that con saving throw. Roll your D12. D12. Uh, all Ew. Two. Things yeah. are moving back away though. You get that one out of there. Oh, I can move back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I'll move back again. Back <laughs> as far as you can back. You see that silly like? <laughs> yeah. He's running away. I mean, why would he want to dash when he's with the group? The book. You can also use dash as a bonus action. If you wanted to get further in any direction, just so you know at any point. How much is my movement like space for that dash? 30 feet. 30 feet. You know, they can't do a bonus action after that, though. That is what Oh, I see. I can use my entire thing. So you, yes. so you can move 30 feet, bonus action 30 feet, and then still have an action for an attack. Okay. Or whatever you want to do. So if you wanted, you could dash away and get even further away from those gals, or you can park it. Right next to us. That's your prerogative. Just something that so you can. All right, let's go to uh, Frogman. Uh, so you're just going to go back here? All right. Do you want to actually use an action to hide? All right, let's get a uh, self check. How often do you use this uh, stone thing? It's oh, a cantrip. I feel like he doesn't have any. It's no, it's not what it uses. Yeah. Thirteen. I don't think he knows about it. Yeah. So, Nolan. So you know for Frogman. I'm Frogman. Yes, Frogman. 
you do have your magic stone cantrip, so every turn you could pick up three stones and enchant them with the magic. Or if you do that, then you can chuck them the magic rock. Too. Yeah, I pick up three stones and I enchant them All with right. my magic. Your hide fails as your bonus action. You can use your cantrip as your action to enchant stones. So I'm doing the enchanting of the stones. Okay. And I'm picking up three stones, and based on what you said to Frogman last time, I'm pretty sure one of the stones is accurate, and the other two aren't. <laughs> I said that if he threw it like a buckshot, yeah. Because <laughs> he was like, I'd take all of them and throw them. I know. But if you but threw you them one at a time, I'd, be, right I'd have no though. problem. <laughs> all right, let's go to uh, Rivera. Uh, so if I have to leave the dash, I'll keep that in my hand. But I'm going to move up to the goblin closest to me. Right at his face. All right. Uh, I'm going to, uh, I mean, he hasn't moved or anything, he's sitting in a chair, so maybe a 12 will hit. No, sitting in a chair. All right, I'm going to, like, try backhanding with my shield now, too. No. Uh, that'll be a 23. I'm using my... Did you roll a nat 20 or a 19? 19. Uh, yeah, you're hitting him with the shield. All right, what is that going to do for damage? D4. Uh, let's go D4 on the shield dash. All right, two plus two for strength, so four damage. Nice. Not bad. <clears throat> Clock him in the face, he's bleeding. Yeah, so then I guess if that's the kind of dash action, I'll take it to move. These guys were just eating lunch, and you guys walked up, and you just... <laughs> 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 Did you <laughs> You were real bully in the lunchroom vibes. He just came over and dunked his head in the food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you go ahead and uh, take the best action and move back uh, just to the side of Sebastian. He was the man. Brian's going to give him the opportunity. Hold on. No, I want to say your shield is a bonus action to okay. hit him with. I'm fine okay. with that. So I'm, because I like the I'm shield bash, but yeah. I'm going to post it up. Okay. Um, after Rivera, we got Ango. All right. Uh, my movement wouldn't get me up on that guy. No, you can chuck your daggers. I was going to see if I would be able to get up You'd be on very that. close. You'd be, you're five feet short of pretty much both of them. Yeah, okay. Um, I like the clip. Uh, I'm going to move up 15 feet. All right. And I'm going to offhand throw a dagger at the one closest to Rivera and main hand throw the one furthest from Rivera. All right. So one closest to Rivera, disadvantage, the yep. other one normal. Yep. So first roll is going to be my offhand. Sixteen. All so right. That, that one's going to hit. Just tell me how that guy dies because there's no way. Oh, yeah. My plus bonus, he just dies. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I throw this one kind of like so the blade is going to go perpendicular to like the axis of this neck. It's just going to go and slot it clean off and then just disappear back in my hand. All right. And I'm going to throw the next dagger to the guy further from the Yeah, that's not yeah, nope, that one missed completely. It was very cool with the first one, and then you threw the other one and went completely off. <laughs> but I still feel really cool. I'm just going to have a spear back in my hand, and I'm going to run 15 feet southwest. Yep. All right. Let's go to, after Ango, we got Ember. Okay. And it's the farthest from that one said. I'll shoot the further one. Okay. I assume they're both within eighty. Yeah. Your halo of thorns is a ten foot um, radius. Huh? Your halo of thorns is a ten foot radius. No, it's five feet from. Them. Five feet from them. Okay. Yeah. I only got ten, so I don't forget. But bonus and bonus and what do you think? God damn it! Why does it keep doing that to me? True. I wasn't trying to be they are they are ten feet apart from each other. Oh, yeah. I will give you your hail of thorns back because I'm just I'm I I I will give it back to you because 
Yeah, I get what you were trying to go for. Yeah. What? What? Are you table. They were eating lunch, and you guys disturbed them. Don't mock their table. <laughs> You're like, I'm taking it. Uh, did you, you don't want to attack anyone? I did. I got attacked. Ah, okay. Uh, let's go, Ross. I got so hard when I stood there. It goes to You can nature check it and see what you get. Okay. What's, uh, what's going on? It's actually really encouraging for that. D20. D20. Uh-huh. <laughs> 14 plus 2. Yep. Uh, w, I need you over here. Yep, what are we doing? Looting a goblin. All right, what do we got? A six down on eight? 16. The goblin. He was also looting him with oh, the goal of getting a seven. So you want a severed head? He was looking to grab a severed head. And he rolled a what? 16? Yeah, go ahead. All right, take his severed head off. <laughs> I'll work it in somehow. <laughs> and then, Ben wants to know if he can skin his face off. So we can use it as a disguise. Yeah, why don't you roll a... Uh... Yeah, roll a sleight of hand. And I'm just going to, after you picked him up, you want to move back. Towards the other creature. No, you only move 15 feet. You can move back to where you were. <laughs> All right, and you uh, give me a sleight of hand, and let's move on from him to uh, Ratma. Right. Seventeen. All right. Yeah, you're starting to carve this thing up, but you're pretty occupied right now. Let's go. Let's move over to Ratma. <laughs> They just watched you kill their friend. They they were eating lunch, watched you guys roll up, kill their friend, while one of you guys ran up, chopped off his head, and just started carving his face off. <laughs> All right. Ramo, what are we doing? Jill, what do you want to do? Yeah, there's two goblins left. Ooh, daddy. Okay. Um, I will go up with it. Can I? Can I get thirty feet? You can make it straight up to that guy with thirty feet. Just move, man. Okay. Well, then I'll use a movement to get right up in his face and be like, "Rat long." And then stab them. All right, let's go for a hit. <laughs> Roll for a hit. Right on the base of the box. Um, D20. Wait, do I plus anything? Even with your pluses, you're not hitting them. But I love, you came up and you're like, Ramma hungry, and he just like looked up from, <laughs> after <laughs> seeing his buddy die to you, and he's just got this brown liquidy meat dripping out of his face. So they are eating <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to use my, I guess, my bow to get. All right. Five feet, ten feet from him. Oh, absolutely. Ten feet away from him. Absolutely. You want to go like? Okay. Can I go for who's at the bottom? Rivera. Yeah. Can I go into Rivera? Yeah. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. <laughs> What's your AC, right, Ma? Uh, eleven. Uh, this goblin's hitting you for five as you run away from him. I'm dead. All right, Ratma's down next to Rivera. <laughs> All right, and we're on to our enemy. First one is going to come around the table at Rivera. He's close. Ooh, but he's going to trip over himself on his way over there because the table was so big and falls straight down in his face. He's prone. <laughs> the other one, he's going to come around and ignore Ratma and also go for Rivera. He's the front center. This one's hitting you for five. Yeah, five damage, slashing. And... Woo-hoo! 
What was that? Oh, anonymous gift. Ten anonymous gifts. Thank you, thank you. No one, please tell me you didn't just fade. Okay. Ten anonymous gifts, yeah. All right. I thought I'd put more guys in here, but I guess not. All right. We're back to uh, Daddy. Oh. Rama and Rivera are both down. Can you emphasize the D a little bit more when you say my name? All right, Team Dan. Team Dan. This is the one that you need. So this one is a combination of YouTube and Twitch, so we can't see the Twitch commands on it, but I have Twitch pulled up so we can see all this. But on our big screen, we can see just the combination of them. We're going to have two TVs, so we'll be able to do one on YouTube. Cool. Yeah, maybe. What are you doing, Dad? Uh, I don't know. So is Rivera. We're down to the count. Can I stabilize Rivera? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you want to run up and stabilize him? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Stabilizing would be a straight up action. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 So, so Rivera's up. He's up? Yep. All right. Either that, or you could, unless you already just counted that as what he was doing. Yeah. Talk through it. Yeah. I was going to recommend either that, or you could use a heal. I mean, you said both of you are down, Ratma and. Yep. Mm -hmm. I would say you could also opt to heal Ratma if Ratma goes, or somebody else goes to stabilize uh, Rivera. Go to, if they go to stabilize Rivera, that means Rivera can use his healing potion on himself. That way we can get two people Action there, yeah. yeah. So then I can dash back. Well, you only use 15 feet. If you want to go just straight back to where you were with another 15, sure. uh, uh, you'll have an opportunity to attack from the goblin if you want to run away. Still attack me? Mm -hmm. Oh, then, um, never mind. I'll, I'll... All right. Let's, uh, that was daddy. Let's go to Frogman. Frogman. Ah! Nolan. Nolan. Oh, man. <laughs> Nolan. I've been there. I've been there. I'm not even mad. That's what they mean. No, no, no. I was just thinking it through because I only have one. Yes, you no. do. Yeah, we You have your three enchanted rocks in your hand. Oh, yeah. I got my three rocks. All right. Well, I asked. Uh, I asked Daddy, and I'm like, hey, Daddy. <laughs> Can you fucking heal me next turn, dude? Can you say daddy? I don't like the way he said that. <laughs> this is hilarious. And then uh, I'm going to take those three rocks, and I'm going to chuck all three. All three? All right. Who are you throwing them at? Uh, is there two goblins? Or yeah. I'm aiming to, to split them down the middle. I'm I'm just gonna throw that out there. Yeah, Rivera is in the middle of them, and Daddy on your way there. Kind of, they're both mostly Rivera is right in the middle of them. Will you let me lob one? If if you want to throw one rock, that's your action is to throw one rock. No, no. If you want to grab all of them in hand and throw them, I, you're buckshot in the thing. Like, lob one, lob one, and then take the other two and fucking skip them. Skip them over yeah. the dirt. You know what I'm, you know what I'm saying. Let's. Just enough of fancy stuff, and that's the stuff for buckshot. Yeah. Buck yeah. <laughs> like, can I just move like Neo? I will give you if you want to lob one up as a distraction and see if they get distracted while you throw two with one hand and one of them's at disadvantage. 
Yeah. All right. Yeah. Let's let's That's throw. Easy. Let's do the distra- distraction first. Let's throw up the first rock. All right. Um, and if I hit it, they are not distracted at all. <laughs> they're not. They're li- they throw. You throw out the rock, and they're both just deadpan on you. <laughs> all right. Well, then I run. <laughs> okay. Okay. I run up and I check. I'm like, oh, they're not distracted. So I run and I use my movement speed. So I roll on my back over the table. Okay, well, it'll cost you 15 just to get there, and they're both in the way of your table. All right, well, I roll, what's that? He's rolling around. Stool. Yes. I roll my back off the stool to land on the other side of the stool. All right, they cost you all 30 feet to get over there, and in range with one health. Are they distracted by the roll? <laughs> they're looking right at you. That's what you're distracted. Yeah. It's a straight parkour. I fucking roll the table. I fucking skip up. Nat 20. So first one hits the first goblin. Let's roll for the second one at disadvantage because it's a buck shot. The second one. So roll roll your d20 twice and take the low number now. The first hit those will be a crit. Nat 20. Roll, roll it again. Roll again. Roll, roll it again. Roll. One more Is that a way to die over there? <laughs> I was like, if that comes up in Nat 20, we're throwing that die out. <laughs> you said nine? Okay, so that one, that is even with plus, it's not hitting Okay, the first guy you're creating, what was his magic stone damage? It was one damage or something like that? D4? Okay. Roll a D4 for me. Twice. And then. All right, five damage to that guy. Well, after doing some weird parkour move, and now you're one health right in front of him. I like it. He's not happy. I thought he just over a table and he's prone. He is prone, you were correct. Yeah. Oh, I should have had advantage on that. I didn't even think about that. Oh! The other next one should that stay. Oh. All right. Go ahead and roll, roll damage on that. All right, tell me how he dies. <laughs> I'm gonna give you an inspiration point for just the sheer ridiculousness of how that played out, <laughs> and somehow worked. <laughs> He just, he just grabbed rocks, parkoured over a stool, and then threw it point blank in the guy's face and killed him. <laughs> oh. All right, so basically how it goes down is uh, you guys know in uh, Timmy Turner how they're like, yeah, we got a fire department, but it's like way back in the day, and they're like, their fire department is just rocks. Like this guy throwing rocks at fire. <laughs> so I just go rock, 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 rock. That should be the And they, and they die. <laughs> and they die. They still one up. They still one up. All right, yeah, but I get to roll again for it. No, no, we yeah, did. I gave you. When he originally stayed. I gave you the second rock as they were both just going straight into this guy's face, and you killed them with it. The second at twenty is what killed the guy. Yeah. Oh, right. So one guy is really weak now. Okay. Right. Well, then this, I, I end my turn by saying this. Play that fucking drum, right <laughs> I can't, <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Rivera. All right. No, my cat, my you just saw that great <laughs> feat of acrobatics there. <laughs> I, I am actually just as astounded. <laughs> This one, no. This one hasn't been hit by anybody yet. <laughs> yeah, he's dripping with drool and brown liquidy stuff that we're not quite sure what it is. <laughs> Nash 20? Give me the roll. Let's do it. Tell me how it goes down. I chug my potion <laughs> and I throw the bottle up to distract him. And then, two, then I come back and just hit him in the face with the sword and then just 
These, man, these people were having a great meal. <laughs> All right, battle's over. Oh, sorry, mother. Push that. I go inside quietly. I lose one of the goblins. All right, give me that nature. Yep. Okay. So, me and both of them? No, no, you're just picking them up. Sebastian took the severed head off that one goblin. Is that one goblin still able to be looted just because he took the head, or was that the loot? I'm going to say no because he got that head. And you you now have in your inventory, by the way, a complete goblin face. <laughs> just put skinned goblin face. <laughs> and Sean's going to come back, look at that, and be like, the hell is this? <laughs> Is going to be a seven. Mm -hmm. D8. Yes, seven. 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 You're going to be the first person to receive a ghost orchid seed. Okay. Oh, you grow one yourself now. Sweet. All right, who else was saluting? Can we just put her on the farm? Can we? we have one more goblin. Yeah, I'll zoom out for you. We still have one more Boz. goblin, Dad. I throw one dagger immediately at the sound of somebody saying Boz. All right, yeah, let's... Uh... Roll for Dex, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why he keeps doing this. You got a you got a crushed wolf spider. <laughs> wolf spider reminds me of a beautiful drink that I once enjoyed called Wolf Cola. Can I introduce anybody? Nice refreshing Wolf Cola. Okay. It's definitely a real drink. All right, there's still one more dead goblin in the room. If anyone wants to loot it. All right, let's get a nature and a rarity. D8 and D20. Doesn't matter. I didn't crush wolf spider actually. The ant one called out the buzz. That's your nature one. Can I, can I trust? Uh, oh, oh, I could. Can I just crush wolf spider in this current time? Nine for nature and then a D8. For rarity. Nine for rarity. Nine for yeah, a tree. And give you an angel's trumpet, and then you also get a singing metal. An angel's trumpet. Angel trumpet of the plant. What is this metal? It sounds like one of those things that you put up your nose and what's the second one? A singing metal. Singing metal. Yeah. All right, anybody it's else want to do anything? Like a, kind of like a blade of grass. Kind of like. Okay. I'm curious. Bigger, though. Okay. But it's got the same shape. Gotcha. Like the, uh, like that Michigan sawgrass crap? What can I do with the food? You will get it. Figure it out. Eventually. Okay. Figure it out. Okay. Everyone's going to figure it out, dummy. No. <laughs> <laughs> to everybody else, to be little loot gremlins, then I'm just going to. I will search for other things that are dangerous. I'm just gonna go sit outside. I'm immediately outside the tent and use oh, my yeah, toes and my toes. No, they're all disabled now. I forgot about the trap. Okay. All right, you got lucky on this one. <laughs> so nothing dangerous in the tent. You still have three jars up top. They would have been good amount of jars. All right, let's get natures and d8s and whatnot. Eleven and seven for rarity. Eleven for the nature and seven. Glowing mushroom. Six. Six nature. 
Bainsbury. Two more fives, or one more five. Yeah. Nobody else wants the last talk. Net one on the nature. Yeah. That was a D20, yeah. This legendary glowing object you lift up just ashes. <laughs> you pull out this insane sword, just disintegrates. <laughs> All right, we're leaving the tent. Mm -hmm. I believe you have one more hut that you guys haven't explored yet. And I'm going to turn traps back on inside the hut, not outside, because you guys want to come out. So it doesn't matter. But in this next hut, there's traps again. Yeah. yeah. everyone knows that you guys are riding. I believe it's the bottom left hut that you guys haven't got. It seems like a far away Does this hut. Does it have like any sort of way? Because it looks like there's some sort of way. Is it a hut or is it another one of the tents? It's a hut. Does it have a second story at all? Like a way that you'd be able to go through like a no. hut or just one entryway? Just one entryway. One entryway. Okay. I'll start making my way over there. I was up on the door waiting for my comrade. I'm ready to play the blue stuff. Everybody's going in? Yeah, I'm going in. And I will arm you. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Just make sure that I'm just far enough away from the door so other people can get in. I like it. I don't need to heal. Right. Well, we're going to wait a few turns or something. We're going to heal. Yeah. I, 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 I want to make sure that we all get in there this time. So we're not. Mm -hmm. so if you want, we can have a turn this turn. That's what it's looking like. So you could probably jump both and heal right now. Well, the thing is that if I jump both my heals, I have three health. I mean, we also have mushrooms that we're able to give you, too. Give me um, some mushrooms. I'm, I'm going to give, I'm going to give Daddy a humongous you mushroom. Get mushroom. Humongous mushroom, and you're take you're eating mushroom. a humongous mushroom. Will you take a humongous mushroom? Uh, well, I mean, look, before we do that, should we just get this? Because I just might need to heal myself. Do you have berries? Huh? Like That's what I'm saying. I'm buried confident that we can handle this next skirmish with the whole group, and then we can do a long rest afterwards. Get all the best. That's why I'm not afraid. You, you walk into the building, and there's a crack in. <laughs> The bucket in the middle or the one right next to you? This one or this one? Uh, yes, that is a bucket of water. Takes one charge of your heal away. Yeah. And then go ahead and heal a uh, frog man if you want. Not that we're passively walking around. The yeah, it's, it's free room right now. Oh. Okay. Uh, frog man. Frog man. Frog man. No one? Mm -hmm. Black man? No. Roll a D6. Two. The intuitional frog man. Yeah, three. Now you're out of charges until we long rest, but I'm confident that we got this next turn. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. He can't. He okay, go ahead and you throw on your goblin face mask, and it somehow, with the way you skinned it, fits perfectly on your face. Yeah. But it's still got quite a bit of blood coming down your face. <laughs> could that, could that give an AC bonus? And every time you talk, the mouth isn't moving. <laughs> it's at least one AC bonus, right? No. <laughs> he walks to the next step. Put it up. My you have you have advantage on deception rolls against goblins. 
<laughs> All right. So we're rolling into the last building? Yeah. Yep. All right. We had Rivera dive rolling into this building to make room. I will I'll give you even a right there. Why not? Oh, it's uh oh my god, the dude from Doctor Who or no. Oh my god, I can't remember his name. He's got a I can't remember his name, but it's him in a very giant suit. Yeah, Rhett looks dominating. Na Nathan? Like, oh my god, I can't remember his name. No, I think it's standing. All right. This is your vision as you enter into the building. Oh, okay. We got Rivera in front. Are those little barricades that are like frosting? Yes. Okay. What do we want to do? Can we all walk together Okay, let's go to. This is Rivera's view as you come around the corner. Hasn't noticed you yet. But there is a goblin at the table that you see. Get their attention. <laughs> you're acting like you're killing Frogman? All right. Here, I'll, I'll switch you places where we're at, Mo, so you can have that. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, let's get a uh, sneak. Nine? Ooh, let's get a perception against you. Alright, let's get everyone to roll for each. <laughs> Hold up, I, I yelled to the group, uh, I'm crazy, you know, a goblin's attacking me, and then we try to distract the goblin. It was an interesting idea, but let's all roll for initiative. All right, Ongo, no. Rivera, Daddy, Ember, Ratma, Ross, Frogman. Ratma, you're going to be the one starting out. Give me one second. And then Ongo, you're on deck. Uh, Rivera and Daddy reroll flat. Yeah. Six hands, six hands. Uh, you got it. At least my health rotation is 
Could you tell me who's in front of Grandma? Grandma, you had a one? Yeah, but <laughs> I'm distracting. Stop. 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 Ratma? Yeah, I don't, I don't have a problem with the three with hallway on this one. Okay. Um, I am going to uh right next to Rivera on the right side. Right here? No, I'm I'm sorry, like above him on the right side. Right here. Right here. Right, yes. Like right. six feet. Yeah, right there. Would okay. And then I can fully see a goblin. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to say, Goblin! <laughs> All right. <laughs> wow. All right. Let's uh, go to Ango. While this guy is going into his, you know, like, gruel and shit forage, dumping his spoon in there, pop both my daggers in his direction. All right, that's uh, 35 feet. 35? Okay, I've got to get a little bit closer then. Okay. You moved 10 feet so far. Yeah, put me 15 feet closer. Yeah. Yep, there you yep. go. Pop it both forwards at him. All right. 19. Hit. That one. Miss. All right, give me the 19 damage. All right, six damage to him, and then as you throw the other dagger, you're falling down prone. Your turn is over. And that guy is, like, sputtering blood off the table. Okay, uh, after Ango, we got Daddy. Let me move over to you on that. There's a proclamation. Goblin! Yeah, you want to go this way? Yeah. That's 30 feet. Yeah. Cool. All right, you got a 30 feet range right there. What's the. Yeah, never mind. Yeah. All right. Always throw something to heal. You can dash at him. Good dash. Dash at him. He's strong position. He does have one health. If you bonk him on the head, he will die. But also, we just don't know. You can bonk him. I can say bonk him. Bonk him. Bonk him. Bonk him. Bonk him. Bonk him. He's going to stay right back. All right. Rivera? What do you want to do? Me? Yeah. Five. Yep. Everyone roll that. You got five, five, three, four, one, two. <laughs> I got seventeen. Yeah, you you went right away. <laughs> your seven, your five was the fourth highest. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. So I'll take the the the, uh, the the victory it is, and I guess I'll uh, move up towards this guy. All right. I'll move up there. Thirty. 30 will get you right to the table. Yeah, I'll just give it straight up to him. And I will roll two dash. All right. 12 times. Nah. Does he see any other goblins in any other part of the building? Sorry, let me. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to. Oh, there's another one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? Just uh, move me down. Oh, uh, like side. right here? Okay. Yeah. All right. How, how much did I move? Hold on, let me. 
that was 45, so yeah, you have 15 left, yeah, so 5, and then another 5, you're good. Alright, perfect, right. yeah, so I'll be right there. Alright, um, okay, so okay. Yeah. Okay, uh, number five is Ross. You are back here. That's thirty right there. You got yeah. a goblin right here and a goblin up there. If you move straight up, uh, so what's the health on that goblin? I can't tell you health. He's looking pretty hurt. Yeah. It'll thirty feet just to get straight up to him with a dash. Voice. And then, when as soon as the goblin comes, I take my sword and I jab it into his chest. All right, I like let's roll for a hit. Yeah, she gets it. Okay, one. yeah, I don't see why not. What do you got? Nat twenty. Yeah. All right, that's a crit. Does it? Yeah, just tell me how this guy dies, because there's no way he can die. <laughs> So he falls out of the chair, and then I take it, my sword, and I stab it to the back, and I start grinding it Ooh. like a muzzle. <laughs> <laughs> that's how, that's, that's proud. Sean would be proud. <laughs> All right, let's, uh, <laughs> let's go to Ember. Where are you at? You should be down below somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> So that would be 30 right there. And you can see the goblin, yeah? All right, let's get it. 10. Time to switch that dice. Last time I switched, she was mad at me. Oh. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. Our first goblin here is going to turn towards, let's say, Ross, who we just watched destroy one of his guys. <laughs> He's going to hit you for five piercing with a bow. So are you up still, Ross? Are you down? I'm high All right, nice, nice. Then we got some other goblins hearing some commotion, and they're going to start moving. I'm aware. You rolled a one, my guy. <laughs> All right, and after our enemy's turn, we got Frogman. Who's way back here? <laughs> All right. Where are you finding rocks at in here? Where are you finding rocks at in here? So you're running back outside and grabbing some rocks and coming back in. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna cost you ten ten feet of movement for that one. Ten feet of movement and then ten feet back in the sink. All right, sure, yeah, 20 feet. <laughs> nope, he said it. It's 20 feet now. He's literally just going to cost you 10 feet. I like it. 20 feet. Ember? He could start collecting stones, yeah. He likes rocks. <laughs> <laughs> he can start collecting stones, but uh, it's going to take him some time to get them all. I'm going to yell at Frogman. Or make sure you get a bunch of rocks up there, bro. 
All right, well, you got your three rocks right now. Yeah, I had to go back to the rocks. So then you got 10 feet of movement. Well, this is what I don't understand. How did I treat myself? I went out by asking. I told you it was going to be 10 feet to go out and get back in. You were like, right, 10 feet out, 10 feet in. I was like, all right, 20 feet. (laughs) (laughs) All right, well... Got the rocks and I'm enchanting them. Okay. And I'm teaching myself how to juggle because they're just huge. <laughs> All right. Do you want to move ten feet? You could. No, I'm chilling. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Ratma, we're over to you. Oh. Um. So I can't see that other one, but I saw that Ember tried to shoot something that way. So mm. I'm gonna. Move as far as I can above that first set of rock tools. Yeah, that's that's thirty feet right there. Okay, and then I can do a dash. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna dash towards this goblin. Twenty five feet to get right in his face. Perfect. All right. And I'm gonna get up in his face. Throw my sword. And I'm gonna put my bucket on top of his head. So he can't see. Yeah, let's roll for a hit and we'll do uh just give me a base. Just base D20. Woo! An eight. Jesus. You grab your Wait, bucket. Do no, just okay. base. You grab your bucket and you go to slam it over his head and just like completely miss him and he just like dips out of the way and looks at you. But the force you threw your bucket destroyed it on the ground. Well, <laughs> oh, <damn. laughs> Seven and seven? Seven and seven? I'll give you the bucket as a bonus action if you want. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'm going to try to stab him. With my, with my <laughs> you throw hand. a bucket at him and then you pull out a sword. Well, that's my goal. <laughs> I was going to do that next turn. Like, yeah, All right, okay. let's roll for hit. Okay, so uh, that's another 18. Ooh, Ooh you're hitting. Roll for damage. Yeah, it's it's already high enough. No, she gets her hit, she gets her proficiency bonus, and then she uses it. And her deck. But she's already, she's already hit. So. And my rapier is a D8. But initiative is here. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh, wait. I rolled the wrong one. This is your dad. Too many numbers. Nine. Five. Five? All right. All right. I'm going to chop off his arm. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to give you, you're using a rapier, so you just kind of stab him. Rapier. You stab him in the (laughs) arm and he starts bleeding, but he kind of like you're cutting it off. All right. Um, after rat mode, we got Ango. I am going to move me as far north as I can, 30 feet. So actually, then move me to where I'd be 20 feet away from that goblin. So, right there. Cardinal's direction. It makes it easier for the DM because we have different perspective on the screen. Um, then I will attack the goblin with both daggers. All right, so uh, so not a nat twenty. All right, that's it. Seventeen. Seventeen, both of them. Oh, just go ahead and tell me how it goes down. Sweet. Um, yeah, no, I'm going to throw both the daggers at his kneecaps, and as he collapses, I'm just waiting. For uh, wrap up to finish the job, so rip here on the way down. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all good. <laughs> so wrap up gets the final. I go. You done? Um, and then I guess I'm going to I'm going to dash and move me another. Yeah, so movie that plate that you clipped, one more over to the left. Down. Right there. 
Oh, that's where Ram is at. Right there? Yeah. yeah. Um, let's go to Daddy. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. You know, you don't get that deal with her. What are we doing? Moving up here, I think one of them's grass. And then on the other Didn't you use two heals? Uh, yeah, you 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 healed Frogman. <laughs> All right. Rivera. You're down here. All right. That's 30. <laughs> <laughs> this um, line will work. Yeah, I got something on the other side of the barricade. Well, you want to dash to it? Yep. Right there, that'll do it. Right here? Yep. Big beef and balls, so I'm going to keep running right over. All right. You can just come go down. We're on Ross. Okay. I don't think it's new. It's probably going to be new. Yeah, let's get it. Uh, nature check and a D8. First D20, nature check. Plus your nature. 18, alright, now roll D D8 for us. Not broken. Yeah, not broken. You get a red berry. Nice. <laughs> Not broken. The dilemma here. <laughs> You'll find out. Yeah, as soon as you guys finish this, you guys are gonna get to start using some crafting soon. Sweet. Like real soon. I'm trying to figure out how I can get more health and consuming things. Oh, if you need a red berry, I'll give you one health for eating a red berry too. One health. Yeah. For one red berry. Yeah. It seems like a fiber to me. It's a berry. <laughs> it seems like a fire. <laughs> All right, Ross, what do you want to do? Bastion said, what else for a berry? Yeah. Bastion would like to consume the berry and then eat it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Do you have two red berries on it? I do. Oh, nice. Ooh. Man's been picking up red berries. <laughs> well, 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 nature like we, it might behoove of us if... We end up like we Would you like to move it all, Sebastian? Uh, location somewhere. I, I'll, I'll go to the Vanessa River. Like over here? What's a large red bear? Yep, right there. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that works. All right. I guess you'll find out. You can eat it. It'll kill you. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. Let's we'll we'll see. Berries. All right. It's not your turn. Don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, that was Ross. We're on to Ember. You want to go further up above them? Or? So that would be 30 yeah, right there. Right there. All right. All right, with that, we're on to our enemy. Da, 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 da. 30 feet away from you. You know what? These guys are going to dash. Why not? All right, Rivera, you're getting attacked. AC? Five damage, my guy. Back down? No, I'm fine. No. <laughs> All right. Um, yeah, this guy's going to dash too, because why not? And. Ember, you're getting attacked. Look at this corner there. 
A cat. Cat on a stick. On me. Look at the screen. We can both see each other. He led you have a shot. Yeah, What's your AC? He barely misses you. Oh, <laughs> right oh. through your hair. <laughs> As a few a few split ends stand out. <laughs> All right, let's go to Frogman. Where the hell are you? You're way back at the entrance. <laughs> You're over here. You're juggling rocks over here. Look at it. Am I way back? You're at the entrance. Yeah. <laughs> You're running up? All right. No, no, no. I fly. I turn into the duck and I fly to them. Okay. Yeah. But do I drop the rocks? No, the rocks are still in your inventory. They're not on your raven, though. So that's 60 feet, your raven flight to get up here. <laughs> All right, I'm chilling right there. All right, let's go to uh, Ratma. Large red berry. All right, are you you're going to have to come out of raven form to do that. Why you bury the oh, wait, All right, well, that takes another charge of your raven. You got one more left. Until I rest, right? Yes. Yeah. I didn't, like, lose the raven charge for, for fight. No, just until you rest, yeah. Then we're good. All right, so you got one charge left. You're back to human. You ate a berry. Large red. We'll move you up. Five That's a fiver, yeah. <laughs> That's a fiver. Cool. Thank you. All right. I'll go. You say he sucks. <laughs> okay. After Ongo, we got Daddy. That's 25 to get to right there. to get right within 10 feet. Of so All right, let's do it. Oh. All right, you're prone. Tune yeah. over. Let's go to Ross. Where are you at, Ross? You're right here. So that would be 30 feet right there. Dash earlier, that's taken away 
No. Yeah, every turn you get a bonus action. Bonus action God damn it. Every time. It, that would be 25 to get right next to him. The Bastion would like to take his sword and throw it at the goblin's head, javelin style. All right, let's get it. Yep, we're going to do a dexterity instead of strength for your attack. So still d20, but you're going to add your dex modifier to it. 16 plus 1, 2. Six, you, you hit it. <laughs> give, me, give me the damage. Give me the damage on that thing. I don't know what your sword is. Or it's dagger. It's D, D4. Sorry, I forgot he had dagger. I keep for some reason thinking he's got a sword. All right, tell me how this guy dies from this javelin. <laughs> Just you just right? I'm talking oh, as close as me and Nolan are. You just grab your sword and throw it at his face. And as I throw it, it into his body. There I go. Love it. Love it. All right. Yes. You, the battle is over, so you can go get your dagger now. And that. <laughs> all right as this goblin dies you got all get a notification that pops up in front of you in a translucent blue screen that says level one complete congratulations you completed level one of the tower objective subjugate the monsters from this floor summary the humans traveled from far away and eventually landed on this island where they decided to plant their roots and grow their population during the exploration of the island, they discovered the goblin village. The humans, seeing the goblins as vile creatures, immediately attacked and started treating the goblins as savages. The goblins, who had been on this land for generations, were peaceful and had never met humans before. After being attacked and having many of their elders and village chiefs slaughtered by unknown creatures, the goblins labeled the humans as monsters and began their revenge. Thus began an endless battle between two creatures who labeled each other as monsters. Your team chose to side with the humans and commit genocide on the peaceful goblins. Congratulations on your choice. You must face the consequences of your actions. Going forward, goblins are now extinct in the tower as they've been wiped away from history by you and your team of heroic adventurers. Going forward, consider your choices carefully. Having your greatest wish granted may be great, but you will have to live with the choices you make in the tower forever. Wow. Justice is decided by the victors. So, wow. So, we can stay food with them then. No. Shit. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I don't just shit. Should have been a tag. Yeah. Oh. I asked earlier for your perspective, but it wasn't about those people. It was worth it. You sided with racists. As soon as we showed up in the village and the goblins were there, conflict began. We yeah, the they, goblins were in a never ending battle that they started uh, only for revenge, so. I would like to see what we're talking about. Like, guys, this isn't like you. So. Listen, there was a couple hints throughout it where the humans just kept calling the monsters and referring to them as that, and no one really questioned it at all. And you guys did kill one of the humans, and immediately I looked at Will and I was like, if they kill all these guys, they're just done with this floor. <laughs> To be fair, yeah, only, only one, one of you tried to talk to the goblins, which I think was Jay, maybe, I can't remember, but they just kind of gurgled back and didn't understand him, and then you guys just started fucking them. <laughs> so you didn't understand these foreign creatures and decided to kill them. <laughs> what about the bear? The, but now the bear was just a random creature in there. <laughs> the mine was completely optional on this level. This is the goblin's land that the humans invaded. Yeah, you can. Yeah, this is this is what you're seeing back here. Uh, ignore this. This is something we added on, but it didn't end up working. So ignore this. There is some type of tapestry there. Yeah. 
Like I said, justice is declared by the victors. So I mean, since they're extinct, who's going to argue that they weren't? I'm going to lose the God for letting this realm. Whoa, that was Let's loot it. <laughs> Let's watch ourselves here. <laughs> I got it. Wow. <laughs> so, that one. What do you got? Uh, 12 nature? All right, roll d8 for us, too. He's losing one of the goblins. Oh, the one that's daily killed. Three. We sham wild dogs for that butter. We slap shop as well. Like, oh, yeah, we got some. Singing metal. Metal. Singing, and then nettles N E T T L E. All right, anybody else want to do anything? Or like to get a pillow and blanket because I see a pillow and blanket and I'm jealous of her bear. What is that? Okay. Yeah, you can go grab a pillow and blanket. I wasn't here the day that we all ended up leaving the potion maker and after he turned my hand to the seat. We're like, do we burn all rich of that guy or do we return to him to You can try to return to him. I would like to try to because I I want to go back and see if one I might be able to get a boiler and I'd like to try to call back. And then two, see since we finish this mission, if there might be able to be some sort of deal that we can do. Yeah. So, I, do we, there was an announcement, but they didn't tell us how to go along with the I was waiting for you guys to leave. So I, as you step out of the building in the distance, you see a tower rise out of the sea, connected to the land about, well, I didn't put it in the map, but it's like right here, or right on the beach down here somewhere. I would like yeah. to yeah. rest and also, yeah. can we go back through the woods so I can get some like, things through the woods? I would I like to rest before I go through the woods. There will be lots of woods up on there. You're, you're good. There's nothing in these woods. <laughs> Level two's got everything. You already got plenty. You got plenty of ingredients. Before so we return to the village to talk to the shopkeeper, would we like to declare a long rest? Yes. Are there any more shopkeepers? The potion guy? Is that the only guy left? Is that the only guy left? I thought the other guys didn't have good gear, but shit, it's not the first one. We should not have killed all the people. We should have just picked that one potion guy. Um, I'm going to go ahead and 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 go And you're going to the potion shop. I believe you killed the armor shop. Or you weapon shop. Item. Weapon shop, yeah. The item shop is fine, yeah. I, I saw you guys tied up back in. Uh, no, no. <laughs> armor shop? Okay, you're right. Me and the oh, are you? Honestly, Sean, sorry. No, you, no, you started the con. No, no, it was. It was no, you. it was Jay started the con. No, it was no oh, one. Sorry, I was going to talk to you. I mean, I can go over to the shop real quick. I was like, mm-hmm. well, I don't know. No, but, I no. Okay. Armor shop is still alive. Yeah. So it was the weapon shop. I didn't know better, brother. I was like, I'm going to keep on killing. First day, but we're All right, you're back at the potion shop. My friend! Going. I'm going. You lot are back. Side conversations. Let's let's rein it in. Let's rein it in. Sorry. All right. Want to let you know we took care of the little goblin infestation for you. So all hopefully we can let bygones be bygones, and maybe I might be able to get another six years of your tea potion. You want more of the fee potion? My, my, I consider that a failed product, but if you want to pay, I don't know. I mean, it's not really for me. What do you I got? Already really love I'd, I'd be willing to sell it to you if you got something to trade for. Um, so, so I guess, how do you feel about, how much is this fractured blood is worth to you? 
fractured blood, like it's, not even complete blood root. It's not complete. It's fractured. I, I mean, feel like you again need to sweeten the deal a little bit there. That's not enough okay. for me. I will give you. I'll give you a flat top fractured blood root, a wolf spider, and. In an ash blossom. Alright. That, that doesn't sound bad. Two swills. Two swills? Two swills. Alright, I'll give you I'll give you two potions of feet. Two potions of feet. Yeah. Okay. So Take all that out. Yeah. And also <laughs> So Scott, when I had boil in your cauldron, you didn't happen to, to put those off to the side for me, did you? Uh, we, it, it's been boiling for two days. <laughs> well, you've been gone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're right here, and he just like pulls over a cauldron that just looks brown and gross and liquidy and like some weird meats. In it. I'm going to mind if I grab your ladle. Yeah, go for it. I'm going to ladle out two of what I can mostly tell, hopefully, is the eyes that I left in there. Yeah, you get some brown chunks. I'll grab some brown, two brown chunks. Two brown chunks. Two brown chunks. <laughs> And then I'm going to I'm going to let the shopkeeper know if you ever sorry about my my friend friends here they can be kind of a rowdy bunch if you ever have any need of any more services you know who to call on go on go to the blood room yeah I think I'll go a different direction <laughs> I love you too. Um, what was the dog I don't know if we're I believe that was the armor shop. All right, go for it. You're walking into the weapon shop over here. Dragon egg, you say? <laughs> Let me see that. And he grabs it and starts just hitting it with his hammer a little bit, but like a little too hard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so he starts hitting it a little bit, and it's like, hmm, what you need for it? I lied, because I thought it was tricky, but it's a real egg. I don't keep it. You have a dragon. So I'm going to snatch it back. <laughs> <laughs> you snatch it out of his hand. But, but wait, I'll buy it. This is the worst. You can't just tempt me with that precious egg and then not let me buy it. <laughs> I yell out to the group, well, she's got a dragon egg. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, you, so you guys do charity, or what, what's up with the little fella? <laughs> hmm. I'll, I'll let you grab any, any of this armor here in my shop that you want that fits you. Well, dash got it. <laughs> hey, isn't this pretty cool? Then get it. Back. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Will said it was an egg, and I was like, "Cool, an egg," and I took it, and then I thought I, it, was I, it was a stone. Egg. So I was like, "Oh, that's that's what I was told." <laughs> it's a stone egg. It's a stone egg. I'm gonna get a stone. It's gonna be a stone egg. That's what I'm gonna give myself. Yeah, I'm keeping it. I'm gonna keep it. Like moving oh, against me. All right, are we good? Do we want to head to the level two? Right? Well, the armor, the weapon guy, is nobody watching his door. Can I loot his weapon You are more than welcome to go and loot the weapon shop. I would like to loot the weapon shop. Everything in the weapon shop is very basic, common weapons that, frankly, you already have a common version of your right. weapon. If you ever lose one of your rapiers that are throwing it, though, you might want to spare. Where the fuck is the weapon shop? I'm thinking of that. Like, anybody want to stop here? <laughs> I'm good. I see one of these spears, and I think I want like a cool. You do not have yeah. proficiency in anything other than the type of weapon you are carrying. So oh, yours so would I be a rapier, and then. Well, it's if you want to be proficient. Uh, it's been essentially like a month or more in real human time. 
I remember we made a deal with someone here for clearing out the cabin, but I don't remember what the deal was. You made a deal with the innkeeper that he would let you stay at the inn for free whenever you wanted if you cleared out the cabin. Oh, that's point. That's... Yeah, completely. <laughs> 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 I remember this vividly, and I was, I was like, I'm not really sure they'll need this, but. Who the hell I believe Stephen made this deal. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I, thought we tried I think you were just kind of pushing it along. You were like, yeah, we'll go kill the cow. You guys, <laughs> at the same time, I tried for the, the other shops too, and they're like, oh, let's see what we do. So I'm here for the see what we can do portion. <laughs> these, we'll do. these monsters just kind of slaughtered goblins right uh, the second they came into this place, so I don't think they were great on their deal. <laughs> what do you guys think about killing the innkeeper? The innkeeper's like the cool of that one. He, he's all I just want to. We have repercussions for whatever we do. I just want to we throw out, out, not only repercussions, but you guys also already tried this on the item shop guy who turned into a bear. <laughs> and he turned into a bear. And destroyed you. I'm going to get the backup right here. Okay. And I'm going to leave the shop. And I also want to ask, can I have a perception check? Like... When you open up the main map, I saw something really, 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 really far to the left side. There's nothing no. there. Okay. I'm sorry. The, just the town that you guys are in. Yeah. All right. Back to the weapon shop. I just exited the building. Right, well, can I get some stuff out of the weapon shop? What do you want out of this? I don't even know what. Ember, what are we doing? I don't know. That's good. I guess you have like gold behind the counter. You can go check behind the counter. Give me a. Uh, let's go nature check. You're looting it. Why not? We're keeping it base. 13. You can you can have a uh, hundred gold pieces. So, uh, can I go to the weapon shop and see if they have any magic? There's nothing magical in this weapon shop. Not even like this is level one. There's nothing in there. No. These are basic, common stuff. What? <laughs> you want the blue quill? Yeah, why not? <laughs> it's in parentheses. Just put decorative, please. <laughs> There's no use for it other than just being role playing decorative. <laughs> All right. The last question I would like. Like to ask the item shop. Just one last question for you. Mm -hmm. Perhaps have any potions that would make one feel more dexterous. You are now level four of one guy now. No. Okay. Are those atheist little? Then that's my last question. Are they what? Them? What? Have you, you guys seen the circle with the, the star? Oh, it's a that's a pentagram. Oh. I was like, what's an atheist carpet? Sorry. It's just a uh, cross with like it's crossed out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, are we good here? All right, so you guys are moving to the tower for level two? I'm down for it. All right, uh, yeah, we just have an outside one for this one. The next one, I think we have an inside part. But this is the tower you guys walk up to as you enter into the tower there's a portal in front of you and as you walk into the portal everything phases out as you move on to level two but while we're doing it let's pass out our level two abilities and everything Woohoo! Let's go. i'm doing pretty good so far with these daggers i'm excited to see what happens Alright, so if we gotta have a conversation real quick. So if you honestly get the space that you just put it in the mouth, so that's what Hold on, I'll get it to him. Yeah. This is. That's okay, we'll get you a little too hooked up. Alright. So, uh, Sebastian would have taken a whole bunch of bonus daggers from the weapon shop since he's good at tossing them, but he doesn't want to lose all of his daggers. So just have extra ones. Okay. Yeah, Thank take get, get grab two daggers or you. Question DM. Uh, Sebastian. Question DM. Yep. Would I be able to hand one Amber? of my daggers over to like Sebastian? And if you were to throw that dagger, would I be able to have that dagger appear back into my hand? I'm gonna say no. Uh, Ratma. So you all have a added on abilities. Not all of them are great. Some of them are just slight passes right now that your character will scale to later. I've come up with different stuff for it. Some of them are, don't seem that great, but 
they go with your character. Mm -hmm. I guess my question for my character is if I'm Daddy. moving towards being a sort of a shield guy, do I know how to wear any kind of armor? You never stuff. Yes. You you can your character specifically can wear like plate heavy armor. Am I going to have Martin, to make it out of six in mud or yeah. maybe a We'll get to armor eventually. <laughs> and if you can find yeah, some, you can find some. Me. And I don't know how to yeah. All right, everybody read through your skills. Acquaint yourselves with that. Oh, yeah. Um, as you go to level two, in front of you, a translucent screen before you see anything says, Level two start. Objective. Storm the impenetrable city and gain victory for the king of Sparta. And we're on to level two. Did we get this is your level up. Oh yes, let's let's each have you roll a D eight for me. Add your constitution to it, except for Stefan, who's gonna roll a D ten or a D twelve. My bad. Add your constitution. Yep, your constitution modifier. Yeah. Yep. And you're just going to add that to your overall health. What do we got? Let's hear the health. Oh my. Oh. What do you got? My F6. Six. Six. Nice. <clears throat> yep. Five. Five. Add it on your health. Brett, oh, what do you got? Three. All right. One. Really? What's your constitution modifier? Oh, uh, Negative one. So now it's zero. Just one. Just one. Wait, can I add a, can I roll a D8? I was reading the sheet. Yep, roll a D8. Wait, so we roll the D8 and we just use that and we add on to our health? How is the constitution going? Plus it? your constitution modifier. Plus Unless two. it's negative. Okay, so it's minus two and I roll a five, I get seven health. Yes. Yeah. Sweet. And then Rivera's going to roll a D12 and yeah, add that up. I got a five, so I'm going to add. Plus your con mod. Yeah, unless it's negative. So I don't have to do a con. Okay, then I just five. Yeah. Yeah. It's accidentally. Yep. One. Keep going. With what? Say that again. So you'll add another plus two. We're making you more accurate over here. Anything else? As long as you're doing it with a ranged weapon, yeah. That's fine. Yeah. The objective of the map is it says level two start objective storm the impenetrable city and gain victory for the king of Sparta. No, no, no! You don't get to pick a side. You are on a side. You, you didn't. It didn't tell. You know, it, all it said know. was subjugate the monsters. How you dictated that was how you dictated that. You think you're <laughs> <laughs> Worked out, didn't it? <laughs> also, upon reaching level two, everyone in front of them they see a message and it displays: "You have unlocked the harvesting field guide." Inside the field guide now, once you unlock a potion, I will tell you what it does and the ingredients required to make it. You will also gain experience points for gathering ingredients and gain levels. I'll keep track of that and tell you when you gain a level in your skill. I like Better it. Better things faster if we keep gagging for vegetables and things. Yes. Okay. Might also be nice if you have a All right. You got the map. Thing. Also, guys, that might be a very good fibber if we have yeah, a little fib on it. Plus seven to seven. Oh yeah. All right. One more message here. We've talked about it, and in all fairness, we came down to a couple people. Um, Stefan Rivera is our MVP of level one, so he is gifted with an item to help him on level two, and hopefully the whole team. What was the determining factor? It was overall everything. It came down to when when W and I were talking about it. It came down to in the end, Rivera and Ember between who would be MVP, and then our honorable mention was Sebastian, because we felt like he really 
followed his sponsor with killing one woman and then <laughs> never killing anything again. <laughs> we were like, that's pretty on par. <laughs> we were like, it was pretty on par, but we we felt like we felt like Ember and Rivera did the most to forward the story and play their character, but Rivera came out ahead. A lot of responsibility right here. So just we will not be showing you on map. the screen and overall map, so. So I am the Mackie. And the maps for this level are based on that map to help you, yes. Wait, I should put in my pocket. Yes, okay. and as a bonus, <laughs> Rivera is now the captain of your platoon that you guys are in. He is allowed to three times, if wanted, give out an order to anyone he wants on the team, and they must follow this order. Is that perception per day? No, just three times total on this level. Yeah, okay. it's just a bonus thing if you need to pull it out. Sweet. Yeah, let's go through it. Ango, what do you got? Let's start over there. So, I'm just really beautiful. <laughs> I just, I'm just a huge fucking talk. So... Starting first level, I got a plus two flat bonus to all deception and persuasion rolls, and a plus that same bonus to any performance roll as long as I'm visible to the crowd. I also am a very acrobatic man, and I gain I gain the following benefit: I have advantage on depth checks and saving throws made to avoid falling or being knocked prone. If I fall no more than ten feet, I'm essentially like a cat. I'll always land on my feet, won't take any damage, won't be knocked prone. <laughs> and then, when I'm getting up from prone, it only costs me five feet of movement rather than half of my speed. <laughs> a lot of them were based on the characters, and then some of them were like, I don't really want to give them an attack boost as much as I want their character to be more role playing. Mm -hmm. No, I'm fine with that. And then so, yours is specifically based on trying to make you into a tank. Yeah, because uh, so far, uh, I'm not. Uh, exactly built for that. <laughs> I'm working on it. <laughs> so, uh, my, my new uh, passive ability is defense. When I'm wearing armor, I, armor, I gain additional it, uh, plus one of my uh, AC. Mm -hmm. And I can, if, within, if I'm within five feet of someone who's been attacked and it's not me, I can use my reaction to impose disadvantage on the attack. Ooh! So, you're actually like a, like a shield girl. You're just coming in. Yeah, like soaking some damage. Go. Well done. <laughs> hey. I got no, 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 I got no, 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 and in this case, I think I put shapeless, but it takes the form of a snake. Okay. And, uh, yeah, that's a bonus action for me. Um, the spirit can heal a number of times equal to one plus your spell casting ability modifier, then minimum twice after healing that number of times the spirit is cured. Okay, very nice. How one plus your spell casting ability? So your wisdom? Or you what, you, what did you say? How much did it heal for? One plus uh, spell casting. Yeah. So one plus spell okay, so it's gonna heal is it your wisdom or plus two or plus two? So you're gonna be able to heal three times for three health. So not bad. That's healing. not bad. More, and and it's more, it's more and more healing. Essentially. It's a lot more healing yeah. and it's mobile. Yeah. Uh, separate from yep. and I don't have to be Yeah, it's casting on you from thirty feet away at you, right? And it's like another buddy in the right. blue world of time. Yeah, that's right. very, very helpful. All right. yeah, really Amber? Ability. It's like raw. Mm -hmm. I can see that. Yeah. First, I got an additional plus two for archery, so I can add that to my proficiency. I will set my like cool. four. Let's go. Yeah. And then I have a fire arrow. So I fire a flaming arrow. When the arrow makes contact, it deals an extra 10 fire damage and catches on fire. Every turn it's on fire, it takes an additional extra six fire damage. Oh. You can put out the fire by going from it and using a dexterity check. Now, is this a bonus okay, action to cock a flame arrow? I can do it twice per day, but the other question I have is, is that an action, normal action? Yes, it, it wouldn't be like you light the arrow on fire and then you have to shoot it. It would just be your casting fire. So, anti right. bonus action, hail of arrows, and then just shoot a flame arrow? I don't see why not. 
Some of the I specifically tried to tailor more people to be the damage dealers than it. And then, although it, they said it lasts like until the next set. a minute, so it can yeah. Pretty much a, a turn. Basically, they can get rid of it if they stop trying to roll properly. No, he's asking about the health bar. Oh, okay. Yeah, she has one turn. She can do it like two turns. It's a long turn. Like that, and then she had to cast it. Again. All right, Rama. Okay, so I got a I think it's a Choral Aura. And what I can do is it is a circle that's basically 20 feet around me that I can heal using a bonus action to produce an aura affecting allies within 20 feet of your of you that adds your proficiency bonus to any creature skill check. Mm. Attack roll or saving throw to anyone within the aura. So basically, they give plus, plus two to everybody. Plus two plus two. What was it? Your proficiency, right? Um, yes. Yeah, so plus two to every person in the aura. It's a concentration, I think, for... There is concentration? What does that even mean? That means that if somebody hits you, they have a chance of bringing you out of the concentration. Then you have to cast it down. Okay. So you're basically beating on the drum and you have to keep doing it while instance, dodging people. <laughs> the number of times equal to your charisma modifier is only one, so I only can use it once. For now, yeah. Until a long rest? Yeah. Okay. So if but as you it level up nice. as you level up and your charisma modifier or something goes up. That's gonna be really okay. strong. Eventually yeah. It will scale. Yeah. Yours should be the Yeah. I like that. Oh, you're actually giving a subclass. Niches of play. I found a lot of these on the Dungeon Dragons wiki that people have very customized classes for, and I was like, these some of these are pretty cool. No, these, this is nice. I like the way they're forming up. Bad, hard, broken stuff. Yeah, a lot of them are really broken. Oh, I was sure. like, we got to work some differences in here. All right, what you got, Sebastian? All right, so second level, I'm learning simple magic, so it's just sneak, but with stealth and secrecy. Uh, I choose a mundane trinket, trinket, so I chose a channel lock. Uh, this trinket. I can use your action to cast an invisibility spell on myself using charisma as my spell casting ability. Once I do though, I have to I can't do it again for a long rest. And now I'm a stylish villain, so uh my small detection so relying on my swift sense and charm to get me out of my bad situation. If I'm wearing no armor and not using my shield, my AC is equal to ten plus dexterity. And my charisma modifier. Oh, oh shit. Okay. What is your deck and your charisma? What's the modifier for them? One and. If it's a negative, don't worry about it. Oh, two. So that'd be plus three total AC. To so 13 AC. 13 AC. With no R. With no R. What was he at before? What's his AC on his character sheet? Yeah, so you get another two AC. Yeah. It's at uh, one. No, no, what's his deck? Yeah, 11. so he gets another two AC, so you could make it 13 on a sheet. All right. And then that'll go up if his decks or whatever goes up. Yeah. That's incredible. And then Frogman, what do we got? Yay. I don't remember what Frogman has. Give it, read it out. Most people today have heard of Merlin. No, we, we don't need the whole script. We just need his new ability. Oh, yeah. <laughs> first level shapeshift. At the first level, you may change into the form of a group. We got that. Can be group. That's a the second one on there. The we just handed you a second sheet, didn't we? This one down here at the bottom. I was like, I know we just handed you a second sheet that should yeah, happen. Identity yeah. You carry over some additional portions of your pers persona into your shape shift form. While shape shifting, while, while shape shifted, you can speak any language you know. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. When you shape shift, <laughs> I try to make you it more alter cheap. your new form's superficial appearance to more closely reflect your true nature. Now he could truly be a raven. Be a raven. <laughs> yeah. For example, if you have a signature hairstyle, pointy ears, where he's got a lot of those things. He's got a lot of those things. He's gonna love the, the role play of it as your shape shifted forms can take on some new shapes. No. Nice. I also, you guys said there was a thing above that too, but I didn't know if it was new or not. Let me see. Adrenaline rush. 
That is new. I don't remember him mentioning. Yes, that. adrenaline rush is new. Adrenaline rush. When you roll for initiative, you can immediately use your shapeshift each feature <clears throat> as a reaction. Oh hell yeah. yeah! You are not already shapeshifted, and you are not surprised. Yeah, so as long as no one surprises you and he's not already shapeshifted, the second you guys roll initiative, he could just be like, I'm in Raven form. So he can just soak yeah. that damage immediately. You may not shapeshift this way if you have no more uses of the shapeshift feature. Yes. I'm assuming he's going to get more of those shifting abilities through. As we go on. Yes. Yeah. I, I didn't want to take too big of a leap to level two. Level two isn't as. M it's still got quite a bit of combat, but it's more the it's gathering limited. tool added it and everything. It's limited because we have less charges, but it gets stronger yes. as we go. And on. some of you got bigger buffs than other with their damage that I, I wanted to keep everything a little easier. Yeah, Wait, what? Am I oh. Yes, you still have like another day or two, I feel like. All right. On that. And so does the four feet. Yes. So <laughs> Ratma and I, We just did, went over this, man. He gained one HP. That's all right. Remember, you rolled a one? Oh, he rolled a one? Yeah. Do you have a constitution bonus? I didn't roll. No, I rolled. Oh, no, yeah, it was stated that I rolled a one. What's your health there? All right, roll, roll a D8. One. Four. And then All right, you add your constitution modifier. No, I definitely need to. So don't, don't worry about so that. Just so four. So just four. Now your health is at 11. Right. Maximum health. Hell yeah. All right, and that brings us to 257, so I think that's a good place to call it. I'm going to share one thing that I forgot to. Inside your field guide, one potion did come with it. You guys, not everybody knows how to make a lesser potion of health. As an action, you may sip this ruby shimmering potion and restore 1d10 HP. We know how to craft this? Yep. Oh, yeah, That's coming is, next. Yeah. Button. And this is called a what again? Lesser health potion. Right there. Lesser potion of health. So do we need to roll a d10? Or just yeah. roll a d10? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right, ingredients. The ingredients is either a mushroom and a flask of water. So just put one mushroom flask of water. Or you may also use a red berry and pour it in a flask of water. And is there anything special about the flask of water right here, or you just take water and that's it? Is you guys will be finding many. As long as it's in a flask, yeah. Yeah. I can buy a flask to put water in a yep. sufficient amount. Yeah. Pumps and special puddles for correct. No, nah, just just water. water. Yep, just yeah. normal water. <laughs> or is it empty? I have a question. All right, are we good? I do have one. All right, we will continue with level two starting next week on Sunday. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. And remember, we have our streams that we do throughout the week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, our LAN party Thursday, and then D&D on Sunday. We have our podcast that goes up on YouTube, Spotify, and Apple Podcast, along with a bunch of reels that we throw up on YouTube and TikTok. You can check us out on our New School Gaming on all that and New School Project on Twitch. Uh, just so you know, merch dropped. Our website is in the description on our YouTube, Twitch, everything go over to our link tree that's attached there anywhere you want to go that links to our website it's on there it's got logo on the front us animated on the back i'm not turning around this time you'll see it no more streams <laughs> high quality stuff but it's uh limited sizes so make sure you get them fast but yeah thanks for watching and we'll be back next week we'll see you guys later thank you so much yeah, thanks, have a good one happy super bowl oh yeah yeah, yeah.